today I want to get into Olympic versus half Ironman distance. It's like learning another language. Because you're going through a three hour sissy fit that your body's gonna pull and a six hour sissy fit. Morning, Traniacs. Looks like we're, uh, I'm just, oh, I was grabbing a kickboard. No kickboard. Days away from being back in the normal pool. Now, we're gonna be going into the training tank, which is freezing. But on the bright side, we get to play around with a new little setup, new, new camera. It's like learning another language. Slow motion swim now. Traniacs, how'd you like that them their slow motion footage? I'm a big fan, however, using the new U, it's like learning a whole separate language. Like, my God. Anyway, on to today's show. What I wanna talk about today, I touched on before, is sprint versus Olympic distance racing. Today, I wanna get into Olympic versus half Ironman distance racing because as you trainiacs are thinking about what your next race is gonna be, maybe early next year or well into next year, you need to know the differences. So number one, of course, the distance is quite a bit different. The swim is not terribly different, so the swim training is about the same. Olympic is 1,500 meters, half Ironman, 1,900 meters. The bike is 40 kilometers versus 90 kilometers in a half Ironman. The run is a big change. It's a 10 kilometer run in an Olympic, a 21.1 kilometer full half marathon in a half Ironman. Half, 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 half. Now the nutrition is significantly different between an Olympic distance race and a half Ironman because on average, I'd say an Olympic distance race is taking age group athletes somewhere around two hours and 50 minutes to three hours. At that level, you've only taken on a little bit of nutrition, like you've taken on maybe two bottles of electrolytes on the bike and say three to five gels or chews. In a half Ironman though, we're talking about an average of, I think it's somewhere around five hours and 20 minutes to 5.30. You start flirting with that six hour window where your body is about to put up a really big sissy fit. And a large part of that is due to the nutritional aspect. So you gotta have nutrition that doesn't just hit you really quickly like in an Olympic, you gotta have long sustained energy because you're taking on, well, over the course of five, five and a half hours, like somewhere in between seven and 10 intakes of nutrition. That's a lot of stuff to take on. And there's a lot that can go wrong depending on the heat, depending on the difficulty of the course, depending on the humidity. Just the scale of that distance means that small little nuances in your nutrition that might not affect you in a shorter distance as an Olympic, it makes a huge difference in a longer distance being a half Ironman. So you have to absolutely have your nutrition dialed in. It takes a lot more work in preparation. Now the pacing is also entirely different. In an Olympic distance race, there isn't a ton of pacing that you do. Think about the recent 204 and change Olympic distance race that I did. That bike was intended to be all out time trial, like leave nothing back. And I still had a decent run because it was only 10K and it's a short enough race that there isn't a ton of pacing. In a half Ironman, however, unless you're a former ITU athlete who are all changing the game in half Ironman pacing. You pace a half Ironman race immensely. It's all about knowing your pacing strategy, knowing the watts that you can hold on the bike, knowing your heart rate max on the run. There's a huge amount of differences in the pacing strategy between an Olympic and a half Ironman. Again, 
Nothing that is crazy to overcome, it just takes more preparation leading into a race. Now something that you might not be considering when it comes to triathlon is strength. The strength required for an Olympic distance race is not nearly the strength required for a half Ironman. I find that thicker, more built individuals particularly in the pro triathlete ranks are the ones that do better in half Ironmans and full Ironmans. Settle down, Pete. I've never once found in an Olympic distance race that my body was kind of giving up from the amount of pounding that it was going through. It's a short enough race that I've never found that you needed a ton of strength to get through an Olympic distance race. A half Ironman, however, that is a ton of pounding. That's a long time for your body to be holding itself upright on a swim, a bike, and a run. It's just a long time to be around, to be up, to exist, and be active. So I find that the strength portion of a half Ironman race is a huge component of the preparation. That isn't to say that you should be going out and lifting heavy weights right away, no matter what, but you need to have a longer buildup time if you're preparing for a half Ironman race properly where in like the four to six months out from the race, you need to be working on strength so that your chassis is strong enough to absorb the higher volume that you're gonna put in and just the longer day. And then finally, that leads into the amount of training that you need to do for an Olympic distance triathlon versus a half Ironman. An Olympic distance triathlon, you can probably get away with, in my experience, to do really well seven to 12 hours is lots. If you wanna do really, really well in a half Ironman, however, it's gotta be kinda of like 12 to 15 or 16. It's not to say that you can't finish one with less, but if you wanna be strong, if you wanna be fast, you wanna be in good control of the race, you gotta put in longer distances. Because in a half Ironman, you've got more things to figure out. You gotta figure out the nutrition better, you gotta take more time for strength, more time for maintenance, you gotta put in a ton of endurance because you're going through a three hour sissy fit that your body's gonna pull and a six hour sissy fit. And that second sissy fit that your body pulls on you around the five to six hour mark is something that you don't have to go through in an Olympic distance race. So just the sheer volume that you're putting in is less. And then finally, the last thing for today, if you're looking for an Olympic or a half Ironman training plan right now in honor of the half Ironman world championship that happened this weekend, I just reduced our coaching plan cost by 50% until Tuesday, September 12th, 4.30 p.m. Central Time. So if you want a training plan, they never expire, you can go and get one for half price, sit on it until whenever you want, and then it's there for you. And you can get that at a link I will put in the description below, or you can go to triathlonterran.com forward slash coaching. And there we go, that's it for today. I'm gonna sit at the front steps waiting for the Pyrrolator guy for our new podcast equipment. Later, Trainiacs.